Hey guys, today I was given access to Parlant version 3. It's an open source framework for building conversational AI. And I was told that it's the easiest way to create an AI chat agent that actually follows the instructions. So today we are going to test Parlant. View this video as a tutorial and as a trial. So let's dive in. All right, so first let's see what we've got to do here. And um, they have an instruction here. So, okay, so first you install the dependencies, then you have this code and yeah, then you apparently chat. There's also open source repository with a more detailed uh, code example. All right, let's take a look at this later. And uh, an installation instruction. All right, so let's follow this installation instruction and build a board for Otto Carmen, who works at a car dealership. Yeah, well, interesting choice of name. Well, let's build Otto, I guess. All right, here's my Visual Studio code. Very good. So I already set up the dependencies. Well, not the dependencies, the environmental variables. Because what you will need to do is to have the open air environmental variable. I already prepared to export the variables. So I did the environmental file with the open AI API variable. That's the one you need for Parallel to be set up and that's it. All right, so let's first start with uh, setting up the environment and then I'm lazy, so I'm gonna wipe code here a bit. Let me make sure that the whole window fits into the screen. There you go. So set up a Python and variable. So while this is doing it, I'm gonna wait. All right, so let's go take a look at the instruction, what we need to install. Okay, we need to install um, Parland. Let's install it. Then we also need to install the React part. Let's install it. It's installing. Let's play that it's installed all right. Yay, it's all good. All right, let's see if it's installing the React part. Fine. According to the instruction, our next step is... Oh, run the server already. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's run. And uh, see if that works. I hope you can see this. Bam. So what's happening? Yep. All right. Let's see. It's running. It should be running over here. So. Let's see if we are, if we can see what's in there. Let me switch the window again. All right, can I chat with it? Like, what model are you? Let's see what model it is. I mean, there is a default agent. I have no idea, and so I can provide details. All right, well. I guess you have the open AI connection it's working. So now let's uh, follow the instruction and build Otto. Otto, Otto, Otto. Let's build Otto. All right, so, all right, so now let's uh, run Otto. So I already copy pasted this script from that other file and uh, let me see. If I can run it, so Python, Parlant, car dealership, and see if Roth is running. 
yeah you obviously need to stop the previous server for it to start running and now let's see if oh there is our auto all right so let's talk to him hi Otto. what can you do for me yes that's the first run oh about cars what is the best car to buy uh, so i just like see how he's chatting wow that was a that's actually quite nice because it's literally just like a few lines of code and uh, you already have this uh, front end you can chat with the um with your agent so that, that that was pretty easy right all right so let's see what else we can do here we can add some guidelines all right let's add some guidelines let's switch to the window with the code and add the guidelines as you can see now uh, oh, did i copy this correctly yeah. yeah okay so let's see if i can rerun it i think i was and bam so we are starting the uh, service ready for some serious action all right so am i getting a refreshing drink or not let's see so let's say hi to otto and uh, see what the reaction will be just thinking a little bit maybe he's thinking about what drink to offer maybe he's thinking about cars well who knows yep i actually would like a refreshing drink i wish he had that agency On Parliament website, you can find a lot of information how to build various things with this framework. So here, for example, you can scroll through the tutorial and find something like tools and APIs. Here you can find out how to build and implement tools. You can also look into how to build different agents, how to describe the guidelines for them, and so on. So I looked through this tutorial and decided that I'm going to build something that is very, very close to my heart because over the last few years, I've built a number of different ragbots and that's what we're going to try to do now. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build a retrieval augmented generation bot with this tool. I didn't really think much about which uh, vector database i'm going to use i decided to use something that runs locally so i used the chroma db and then i just upload a few uh, pdfs into this chroma db in order to make sure that there is something to talk with it's rather a demonstration how easy it is to use tools and how flexible the tools are in parlant so let's dive in so now we are back into Visual Studio Code and uh, I built an uh, AI research agent. So this agent uh, is basically a rag bot that goes through the papers that I presented in one of my uh, blogs uh, and uh, gets access to a vector database and chats with them and it's always parallel. So the first uh, thing that you would need is um, some kind of a vector database. So I just had the uh, Chroma DB here. I indexed my PDFs into this. That's fairly straightforward. And here's the indexing here. 
then mm. we needed to define tools. So we have here only one tool, it's a search tool. So what you can see here, and let me make the screen a bit bigger. So here I define my rag. This is the code that access um, the Chroma DB and um, searches through the similar papers. Uh, you can substitute uh, here for whatever you want. You can have um, a nice uh, rag. You don't need to use Chroma DB. This is just an example here to show like how easy this is. So here we define tool parameters. So uh, the description, uh, what needs to be found, uh, and then we define the result. So here's the core. So here you know the hits. So the uh, top uh, n passages that are retrieved uh, from our vector database. Uh, the handling if uh, there is nothing found. So basically that's that's a tool definition. You can define any tool you want. If you want, you can define a calculator in here. You can uh, find, uh, because any tool here is basically a Python code. So if I go to over here, you see that this is a Python code uh, that uh, connects to Chroma DB. You know what, let's, let's do it right now. I think that will be uh, a very nice and easy demonstrative example. So let's handle something that uh, counts R's and letters in strawberry. So let me, actually, you know what, let, let me do it in the simplest possible way. So um, count letters, letters. And uh, because I'm a quite a lazy person, I will just uh, ask Claude uh, to count, to write an agent that counts letters. Uh, write Python code that counts letters in string and returns the strings, the, the counts. So now let's mm, define a new tool. So I just um, also, be, I mean, why not uh, do again with the uh, copilot? based on this example. We have uh, total letters, uh, letter counts, uh, unique letters, case sensitive, so quite a nice uh, way to parse everything you want here. So, all right, so now we have our tool defined and now let's go and uh, add this to our bot. So, source count letters. And uh, I mean, for whatever reason, we just might want to, so we want to add our search tools into, um, into here. So we have count letters, uh, count letters, count the letters. I mean, I don't, um, there seems to be a search tool, let's count letters. Okay, so now we seem to have all the tools in here. And let's add a guideline. I may just close this, because this is a bit, all right. So we are adding a guideline. So you can see there's like some automatic, ah, this is like the copy from the instruction, as you can see, so let's just delete this. Uh, and uh, the user asks, 
tasks to count letters in a word or a phrase. Use the count letters to and provide the results. All right, so we need to add um, this to our guideline so it knows which tool to use. And uh, let's check. Here, how many? are in strawberry okay let's see what's happening in the log so you can see that it called our tool here uh, so that's very nice and let's see what happens here oh, it's still processing so my it's all running locally so it's a bit slow here but it should already yeah okay strawberry contains three letters r and uh, all right so strawberry contains three letters r so now let's see what happens if i remove the tool counting part yeah uh, now we'll go back to our example with uh, calling the so with calling our database so yeah so that's where you need to attach the tools as you can see you see like for example here you can write for example to find relevant content and provide the exception you need to call this tool so and so on like you can specify where you when and where you call this these tools close this so you see all right so um, let's check what happens if I try to talk to this tool and let me turn on the uh, the log again Tell me if chain of thought is a method of explainable AI so you see Parland is calling search paper tool and uh, yeah like the it's accessing the chroma db uh, querying it and um, then sends the chunks to the LLM and the basically invoking the rag and then you will see that it gives the answer based on what was Right, is a reasoning method one of step by step. Yes, so this is um, one of the papers that I uploaded um, that I added to our database, and our chatbot says this method can sometimes misrepresent the, re misrepresent the true reason for a model's prediction. That's that's correct. So that was a very simple example and uh, very straightforward so i think uh, yeah you can build a lot with the simple tool definition well i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to upload the code into my git repo i'm going to put all the examples there as you can see it's a very simple tool to use you very quickly get the working chatbot all you need to do is to connect it with your open ai api and start defining the tools, defining the guidelines. You can build a bunch of uh, different agents that can interact with each other and orchestrate the tool uh, workflow. It's um, a nice, simple way to get into the um, agentic uh, AI and uh, start building. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.